Moving on, Radio Host says he won't eat until Congress passes voting rights legislation. Our good friend Joe Madison, the bald eagle, the black eagle. I'm the bald eagle. Mr. Madison has hair. An African-American radio host says he won't eat until Congress passes voters' rights legislation. As a political protest, I'm beginning a hunger strike today by abstaining from eating any solid food until Congress passes. And President Biden signs the Freedom to Vote Act or the John Lewis Voting Rights Amendment Act. Joe Madison, host of Sirius XM's Urban View, said on his show on Monday, Joe, you are already slim enough, brother. I need to go on this. Damn it, Mr. Madison. I need this. I need to stand up for something. Maybe I should go on a hunger strike. Okay. And I repeat, just as food is necessary to sustain life, the right to vote is necessary to sustain democracy. Oh, my God. Give it up for Joe Madison. I can't go to war with everybody. I got to have some friends. It ain't going to be white progressives. So, Joe Madison, what up, brother? i sorry. Brother, my brother. That cushy interview you gave that time that I talked shit about, brother. Let it go, brother. I love you. Last week, Senate Republicans blocked the legislation from starting debate from starting a debate on a voting rights bill named after the late Representative John Lewis. Other legislation on voting rights bills would have gone beyond bolstering the Voting Rights Act of '65. He also failed to advance the Senate in the Senate last year. Last week's version picked up. Low-key moderate votes in Senator Lisa Murkowski and Senator Joe Manchin, but still failed to garner the 60 votes needed to move forward. They can't get 60 votes on voter rights. Give me a damn break, Johnson. What good are they? What good are they? They deserve to lose. They are dysfunctional. Come on, Johnson. That's dysfunctional as hell. You can't get 60 votes. On some shit for black people without us, you wouldn't even have a freaking chance of ever governing anything other than a Chuck E. Cheese or a Little League a Little League group in Poughkeepsie. And we can't get you to do this. You can't do this. You can't garner the troops on this. You can't circle the wagons on this. Mr. Madison, and I submit to you that maybe we should go a step further and say, if we can't get these Democrats to step up and get this done, we should not put your life in jeopardy. We should put the party in jeopardy. We should put the party on life support. Not you, sir. You should not be the one on hunger strike. How about we hunger strike them in the way of votes? Because that's the only thing they recognize, the only thing that they would respect, the only thing that they will listen to. Vote the 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 let's let's hold back them them on some solid votes and them on some solid donations, Johnson. Let's do that. Let's hold them back on that. Let's make them abstain to getting our fucking vote, Mr. Madison. Let's do that. That's right. <clears throat> I'll read a quote from here from Mr. Madison out of respect for his solidarity. His staunch stance. It is what drives me and inspires me. So I begin this hunger strike. I would say this in solidarity. Let me repeat in solidarity with all those calling on Congress and the President of the United States to protect our voting rights. Uh, some will call it a stunt, but all things in political theory there are stunts. It's the stunts that we do that get publicity that furthers the conversation and the narration. What is anything that you do? All direct actions are stunts. Dumb, dumb. Everything you do is a stunt, as, as if you mean a spectacle, a show of force, a show of passion, a show of solidarity, a show of staunch, right, pushback and rebellion. That's what activism is. You stand out in the rain and block something, or you stand out, or you, you do a sit-in, or, or you, you go on a strike for a reason to show your support for something. 
So I don't have a problem with it. In fact, I support it. I want to applaud you on this. Here's the thing, though. If you ain't willing to withhold them damn votes, if you ain't willing to withhold that money, that money, sonny, that money, my brother, you dig? If you're not willing to withhold the money, then I don't see it, man. I, I, if you're not willing to stall them out when it comes to the voting time in the voting booth, if you're not willing to play hardball, and that's the hardball, your personal safety is not the hardball. That ain't playing hardball. They don't give a shit about you, Joe Madison. I don't mean I don't mean no disrespect. This is a country that steps over veterans on the way to pick up dogs off the street in the wintertime. Come on, Johnson. We still got 9-11 responders who don't have been compensated. Their families haven't been compensated. Come on, man. We gotta bring in comedians. <laughs> Like John Stewart to bring attention to nine nine one one responders dying of cancer. Dog, dog, come on, man! I don't care about you. Um, what they make they may care about it. I'm not even certain they care about it because it's one party. It's one party, Joe. Now, see, there I go. I'm in the doghouse again because Joe don't like that type of talk. This is not going to ingratiate me to the masses. I'm not going to be it. I'm not going to have any friends. I have no friends because I talk this type of realness. I don't know, man. It's, it is what it is, John. So give it up for Brother Joe Madison on his hunger strike. Joe, eat some damn food. Don't worry about this shit. <laughs> 